Justin here from Amplified Parts. Today we're going to start the first in a new series that we're going to do of Q&A questions, basically questions that our sales guys get a lot. Some of them may seem simple, but they are actually questions that are asked quite a bit. So we're going to dig into three of those this installment, and uh, like I said, it'll go on from there. Let's dig in. All right, question number one that we get a lot. Will this foot switch work with my amp? We're not really sure, but there's a couple things that you can do to kind of narrow down the search. First is what kind of connectors did they have? Does your amp use your average quarter inch connector like this? Or does it use the RCA style? That's your first thing. You just want to make sure that it's, you got the right connection. Second thing is the LED on some switches. The thing that you have to take into consideration is, will my amp power the LED? A lot of people don't realize that this, this little box right here doesn't have a battery in it, and this LED is not powered by some kind of internal power source. So if your amp won't provide the power for the LED, then you should probably just get the one that has no LED in indicator light. So for instance, like Fenders, you know, they don't have an indicator light. You know, so there's a good chance you try and use one that has an indicator light with that amp, it, it may not work. So it's always better to be on the safe side. Just get yourself the one that you think will work best with your amp. You can also contact the company that makes your amp to ask them, like, will this amp power the LED on my foot switch? And from there, you should be pretty good. I mean, you should be able to find one that suits your needs. The second question that we get asked a lot is, do we test for balanced triodes on preamp tubes? The answer is no. We do not test for balanced triodes on preamp tubes internally. You know, we've talked to a lot of amp guys, and the general consensus is that for most guitar amps, you know, having a balanced triode is not super necessary in the phase inverter. Um, some people like to have it, and that's all well and good. So if you want to have tested balanced triodes, the best brand to go for that we carry would be the Tube Amp Doctor. They always test for things like low noise, low microphonics, gain, sonic test, shock test, and at the very end we got balanced output. So hi-fi guys especially, because the balanced triodes will make a difference in those situations for sure, you're going to want to go with the Tube Amp Doctor brand. So the last question we're going to answer today that we get asked quite regularly is what uh, plate current and transconductance numbers do I want for my amp? And, you know, some amp companies will specify specific ranges. So when you're looking at the label here, you got your current and your transconductance. So it, it's all up to you what you want out of your amp or what your manu amp manufacturer recommends. You know, if you want a lot of clean headroom and very little power tube breakup when you're diamond it, then you're going to want to go with a high plate current and a high transconductance number. If you want something in the middle, now a lot of Fender amps, Mesa Boogie amps, they like those nice middle of the, middle of the road numbers. You're going to want to use middle numbers on your plate current and transconductance. And if you want really early power tube breakup, you want that tube saturation at a lower level if you can attain that, then you'll want to get low numbers. You'll want to get the low transconductance, the low plate current. That'll give you easier access to power tube breakup. Um, like I said, there are some amp companies that will recommend certain ranges. And, you know, you want to stay within those. You can just talk to one of our sales guys and say, hey, I want middle numbers, or I want high numbers, or I want low numbers. Whatever's in the bin at that time will get you the low, middle, or high numbers that you need. So that's it for the first installment of our little Q&A. Be sure to stay tuned because we're going to have new videos going up all the time. Subscribe to our channel for sure. You can also check us out on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. And there's going to be some links to relevant products below this video, as well as a link to our Apex matching site where you can read all about how we match our power tubes. All right, that's it. Thank you.